state-run company Garden Reach Shipbuilders will look to raise about 345 crores uh, from its IPO that opens for subscription today. Samit Sarkar, he's here with all the details you need to know about this IPO. Samit. Well, this is the sixth company coming from the government side with an IPO in 2018. Now, the company is looking to raise close to 345 crore rupees at a price band of 115 to 118 rupees per share. And at the upper end of the price band, that is 118 rupees, the company will be valued at close to 1350 crore rupees. Now, it is a shipbuilding company managed by the Ministry of Defense and it conducts shipbuilding activities mainly for the Indian Navy and for the Coast Guard. Along with this, it also has engineering and engi engine production activities, but it gets nearly 90% of its revenue from shipbuilding activities. Now, it has around three facilities facilities in Kolkata for shipbuilding and its order book as of July 31st was more than 20,000 crore rupees. Now, along with this a firm order book of 20,000 crore rupees, the company has also been declared as the lowest bidder for these three separate orders where it has to make four uh, survey vessels, eight anti-submarine warfare machines and one oceanic, uh, ocean going passenger vessel. Now, if you see the company's only listed peer is Cochin Shipyard and compared to that over FI 13 to FI 18, if you see the company's revenue, net profit and EBITDA growth rate was subdued. But the company's revenue had declined because of a slowdown in order execution. On the EBITDA front, the company has seen operational losses for FY17 and for FY18 because of higher material costs and employee costs. But on the net profit front, the company was able to report a net profit despite operational losses because of higher other income. Now, if you see the company's balance sheet, it's a debt-free company with a huge cash balance of close to 1,000 crore rupees. Now, Cochin Shipyard also has a cash balance of 3,500 crore rupees, but it has a planned capital expenditure of nearly 2,700 crore rupees. Now, the company's return ratios were also subdued compared to Cochin Shipyard and that was because of the operational losses. For FI18, the company's return on equity was 8.5% and return on asset was close to 2%. However, the company has a strong order book which gives a good revenue visibility of nearly 15 years. The company's order book is 20,000 crore rupees which gives a revenue visibility of 15 years but th this does not, does not mean a profitable uh, growth for the company because most of its contract are on fixed price basis and any uh, higher cost will need to be borne by the company and cannot be passed on to the customer. Lastly, in the valuation, if you see the on price to earnings, it's expensive compared to Cochin Shipyard. For FI18, the price to earnings is nearly 15.6 times as compared to 14 times of Cochin Shipyard, while on price to book and market cap to sales, the uh, 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 valuations are not that expensive. Price to book is 1.3 times for FI18 and market cap to sales is nearly 1 times for FI18.